Hello again. Today we'll be looking at the back of jet engines. We're going to find out what this flower looking thing is on the back of jet engines. This thing is called a exhaust nozzle or an attenuator or a diffuser. I'm sure there's plenty of other names but those are the three that I'm familiar with. Exhaust nozzle because uh, as logic would tell you this is the back of the engine uh, the back of the engine so this is the exhaust end of the engine. This is the nozzle that shapes the exhaust out the back of the engine. Therefore the name exhaust nozzle. Uh, and that attenuator it's because that describes more the function of this flower looking thing and that is to attenuate the noise of the exhaust and the way that does that function is it mixes or diffuses the exhaust fast moving air coming out of the back of the engine this is hot fast very fast moving air screaming out the back of the engine and that mixes up with atmosphere ambient air around the outside of the engine the air that's on the outside of the engine is still whereas this is screaming hot out the back of the engine the boundary between those two layers of air gets very turbulent that is where the no, the, the loud loud exhaust noise associated with pure jet old style or fighter jet style jet engines the function of this thing the function for those flower petals and that particular shape is that it mixes the cool still air from the outside of the engine or or in the case of bypass engines it would mix the bypass air bypassing the core of the engine coming around the outside of the engine still cool and it draws it in through here so it's this diffuser is drawing the cool air from the bypass duct in through these fingers and it's mixing it with the hot air coming from the core of the engine so it's drawing the cool air in down through these passages and mixing it with the hot air that's getting pushed out the flower petals so it is mixing the hot air fast moving air with the cool bypass air therefore slowing this air down speeding the outside or bypass air up and quieting uh, both in in the process if pure jet or bypass air doesn't make any sense hang tight because we're gonna go back and look at a little bit of theory before coming back to this again right, class is in session again in a pure jet there's three types of engine pure jet low bypass uh, high bypass or at least those are the three engines we're gonna be talking about today in a pure jet engine which is the very oldest types of jet engine um, not taking into account ramjet and scramjet and all these things this is that's not go down the path too complicated in a pure jet engine you have a compressor combustors a turbine exhaust nozzle whatever all the air that goes into the engine is all the air that the engine processes all the air that goes in makes it through the hot section and out the exhaust the air gets compressed burnt heated up it expands and it shoots out supersonic, uh, supersonically out the back of the engine. So you have a narrow stream of super fast, super hot, supersonic air racing out the back of the engine. That is interacting with still atmospheric air all around it. The boundary where the two mix gets very violent and it creates a lot of noise and that is the crackling ear piercing whining noise 
that you associate with older uh, jet engines. That is the source of the noise, or one of, one of the major sources of noise is that interaction between between the super hot, super fast supersonic air racing out the back of the engine, interacting with the relatively calm, cool air on the outside. Moving on a few decades later, we move into low bypass jet engines, where you still have the core of the engine producing a lot of work, producing a very fast moving exhaust, but this is now subsonic exhaust because we're adding another turbine back here and robbing some of the power of the, uh, the jet exhaust and using that power to spin a fan in the front of the engine. A fan which now moves air outside of the engine, not running it through the combustion chamber, not heating it up. So now you're taking some of the energy of the supersonic exhaust that you would have started with in a pure jet engine, you take some of this energy, slowing down this exhaust, and take some of that energy, energy to spin this fan, which is now moving all this massive air on the bypass duct, hence the name bypass. It's bypassing the core of the engine. So now you have a relatively faster moving air jacketing the outside of the fast moving exhaust stream from the core of the engine. Now this hot air is moving slower, still rel relatively fast, but slower than in a pure jet because you're robbing some of its power to spin the fan. So now you have on a low bypass engine you have relatively slower exhaust from the core being jacketed by this slower moving air, slower than this exhaust, but it is a, a lot bigger mass of air surrounding that jet exhaust. So now this jacket of cool air that has not been heated up muffles that boundary layer. Now it's not so violent because now this air is moving faster than ambient air so it's closer in speed to the exhaust so this interaction here is a lot quieter and it creates a blanket of air around the hot exhaust therefore quieting the sound that's able to escape from there and you have a less violent interaction in this uh, boundary over here scaling that up even more into more modern engines still we get into high bypass engines where the core of the engine is getting so efficient and powerful that with the same amount with the same size engine now you're able to drive a much bigger fan so now most of your energy is not getting uh, shot out the back of the engine you're robbing as much energy as you can from this exhaust through the turbines and you're taking the power to spin this massive fan in front of the engine. Now you're moving all this bypass air compared to a much lower moving exhaust uh, jet because now you're robbing even more power from the exhaust from the core of the engine. You're taking even more energy from here, therefore slower uh, slowing down this exhaust and imparting all that air energy into moving this much volume of air back at a lower speed but much higher volume so you're moving a lot more mass of air slower than uh, and, and therefore making it quieter than getting that same mass of air and shoving it through the engine which means that you have to speed it up to process the same amount the same mass of air to produce the same thrust, you would have to squeeze all this mass of air and speed it up faster and shoot it out the back, making for a, a, a much louder exhaust. Tendency in the later years, more modern years, is to not accelerate the air as much, but to move more 
air slower, but it's still moving the same mass of air, and therefore creating the same amount of thrust, but much quieter. Now you're slowing down the exhaust a lot, and you're blanking, blanketing that exhaust with a very massive uh, blanket of air, cool air, relatively slow moving air around it. Now going back to the flower petal over here, oh, let me show you this. Since you have this bypass air moving around the engine, this interaction here where the bypass air meets the exhaust air from the core of the engine, this here is where that flower petal is that we're looking at back there. This promotes the mixing of bypass air with that hot exhaust from the back of the engine. It draws cool air in to mix with the hot air and it pushes the hot air out. So you have an intermixing of hot and cold. Therefore, diminishing this boundary layer here that's very noisy and violent and you're quieting down that boundary layer. Something that I forgot to mention that I think it's curious is that if you look at the GE Gen X engines uh, or next generation engines you will notice that on the bypass air duct or, or cowling on the trailing edge the, the trailing edge is shaped like this and that is meant this is the cowling that is meant to mix the ambient air from around the engine with the bypass air so now you have that promotes the mixing of ambient air with bypass air as well as bypass air with ambient air so now you have a quieting of this boundary layer between the jet of bypass air which is fast moving faster than ambient air by shaping your the trailing edge of your cowling like that you're imitating that attenuator or diffuser in the in the core of the engine so now you're promoting the mixing of ambient air with your bypass air therefore quieting or diminishing the noise generated by this boundary right here between your bypass air and ambient air so you're quieting down this boundary layer between bypass and ambient air as well as uh, core exhaust with your bypass air so you're quieting down this boundary layer and also because of this shape you're quieting down this boundary layer that is on the new GE Gen X engines which are very very quiet engines for their size and thrust now let's go back and look at this again here's the front of the engine and imagine there's a bypass duct around this and we come to the back of the engine you would have bypass air coming out the outside of the engine and being drawn into these fingers right here and you would have hot air from the exhaust coming out here being pushed outward from the center of the engine being pushed outward and getting mixed in with the cooled air that's cascading in through here so now you have this mixing over here quieting down the exhaust of the engine that's the function of this uh, flower in the back of the jet engine and I'm gonna show you another example of this All right. now we're looking at a JT8 a uh, very popular engine back in its day, back in, in the 77s, early 737s. Anyway, uh, JT8. The front of the engine is over there. This is the intake. And we're looking at the back of the engine. We're going to look inside. You can see another example of that same flower petal. If you look way inside of here, you can see the last turbine stage.
and behind that is this diffuser that is mixing the hot air from the turbines in there with cool bypass air coming in through these and if you look outside of that way down there that's the bypass duct that is bypass air that the fan up front is pushing towards the back of the engine but it's not making it into the core of the engine so that flower pedal that diffuser or attenuator is mixing cool bypass air coming from the bypass duct then cascading in through here and mixing with the hot air coming from the core of the engine mixing it up in here before going out the jet nozzle or the exhaust nozzle which this is what speeds the air creating thrust this is an example of a high bypass engine and you still can see the same attenuator in the exhaust mixing the hot exhaust from the core with the bypass air and and you can see this is this is quite different from the JT8 that we looked at earlier you can see how much bigger the uh, the bypass duct is uh, compared to the, to the rest of the engine so you still have the same flower looking uh, attenuator and this thing you can see clear right through to the fan up front you have a lot more space here than you did in the uh, in the JT8 and I just wanted to give you another example another view of a, at another one of these things all right see you guys bye all right. I hope you found that interesting I think that is a very cool looking piece in fact I think we can call that a muffler it muffles the sound of uh, the exhaust of the engine so we'll call that a muffler. Alright, see you guys next time. As a bonus, we're going to look at an engine that does not have any sound attenuation of any kind. This is an afterburning military engine. We're looking at the back of the engine. The engine, by the way, was over about over there the rest of this is just the uh the, the pipe the exhaust pipe for the uh, afterburner here's the tail feathers <laughs> this is what adjusts the size of the nozzle to make up for the changing uh volume of gases coming out of this thing and if you look at this you're going to notice that there's no uh, muffler, there's no attenuation of any kind. What you're looking at is the flame holder for the afterburner and no attenuator, no diffuser. All you have is an empty duct all the way out to the tail feathers. The reason for that is the military couldn't give two you know what about noise. They want to get in, they want to get out fast, out of harm's way. Let it be loud. Let it be known that we're here. But no attenuation of any kind. This thing is loud. <laughs>